I'm gonna show you a really easy way to make any element, images, text, even whole containers float in Elementor. So it's automatically gonna move up and down or even sideways. It's very simple, it just takes a tiny bit of CSS and it's a great way to capture attention and to make your website a little bit more dynamic. So let's do it. The first thing you need to do is prepare the element you want to float. In my case, it's this image over here. Once you have it, go under advanced and we're gonna give it a class. This class can be anything, it just has to match in the CSS. In my case, I'll give it a class called image float. Next, we're gonna paste in our CSS. This will be available down below. I'm gonna paste it under advanced, custom CSS, but if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can go to your admin bar, press customize, additional CSS and paste it in here. And pasting it in here is gonna make it apply to the whole website as well. So I paste in my CSS, and right away you can see the image starts floating. You can change the duration, make it really fast or make it really slow. You can change the speed curve by changing the ease in out for just ease, for example. These are the different transition timing function properties you can try. These basically control how the effect speeds up or slows down or doesn't if you have it set to linear. I'm gonna leave it as ease in out. You can change the actual movement by changing the keyframes. So instead of 0, 50, 100, we can go 0, 20, 100. And you can see how the effect changes. And we can of course also change how much it moves. Currently it's set to move 50 pixels up. I can do 250 pixels up. Or I can do 250 pixels down. And you can even use all of the other CSS units, such as rem. So I'm going to set it to minus 5 rem. And if I wanted to move sideways, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my X property. So the first one here that is set to zero right now, I'm going to give it 50 pixels. Don't forget to add in your unit. And then if I wanted to move just sideways, I'm just going to set the Y value to zero. And now it's moving sideways. So just change the values until you get what you want. And you can apply this to whole containers, headings, or any other element. Another really cool thing is waiting for you in this video. So make sure you check that out. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.